What's going on everybody? Chad CRC here with you. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I don't know why I decided to do this today. I don't know. It's the holiday. I have a fun fly coming up this weekend and I just kind of wanted to try some things out. And what I wanted to try out was I wanted to test some different antennas and orientations with my crossfire. So I hesitated for a long time moving to the, the, the crossfire nano because I've heard people talking about they maybe had some issues with it and I had no issues with Crossfire at all. And I still haven't by the way. But I did end up getting a an Nano and it's great because it does save you some room. It makes mounting a little bit easier, but you know, we're still left with this Immortal T, which has a weird, funky design, because all of these uh, lower wavelength antennas have, you know, these the uh, an active element and then a ground element, and they, you know, all this kind of stuff. So all of my quads up until today, everything has been running like perpendicular or horizontal, like this. Except for my planes, I have them vertical. So sticking straight up and down when you're, you know, when you're flying like that versus that. And then of course I orientate the transmitter antenna to be the same way. So that way the polarizations are matching and the nulls are matching and all that kind of stuff. So I have up the, uh, so I have updated everything to the newest beta firmware, which they always say to go to the beta on TBS versus going to stable. And I decided to print out a couple different things and try some different orientations because I've noticed that even running at a standard 500 milliwatt power, that my ships have been dropping into radio frequency mode 1, 50 hertz from 2, the 150, at a closer distance than they have been before. I've also been playing with dynamic power and that's pretty interesting just because it works. You know, it's funny how like I'm blasting 500 milliwatts constantly, but when I run pretty much the same course that you've seen me run here on my channel, if you're familiar with it, the fields that are in front of my house, you know, I was at 10 milliwatt, 25 milliwatt, maybe 500 or 1 watt briefly as I was behind some tree lines and I'll show you that stuff here in the video um, What the actual course looks like and maybe you guys can give some recommendations So we got two reverbs that are built identically except for motors and props um, This one here. I ended up printing out this vertical immortal team out right here so it'll be like that in air flying and this one has the crossfire nano on it i had honestly didn't notice any difference in performance between the nano and the micro so and this one has the regular dipole on it that it comes with that if you look real close just like right in there you can see that it comes all the way down to the back of the micro receiver like right here and basically the whole wire is fed up through here and the active element is all the way up here and the grounds all the way down here and it's one continuous length so when I'm flying this way it would be completely vertical so testing a few things basically vertical Nano versus micro, everything else like that. Pretty much everything, all that you could test all in one like little video here. The only thing I didn't try was the stock transmitter antenna versus the black diamond. I pretty much used the black diamond just because I do a lot of my flying as low as I can, except in certain areas where I have to go high because the tree lines and stuff just block the video. So I just stick with the diamond. And when I'm in open fields, maybe I'll put on the regular. So anyway, let's take a look at uh, the flight footage and I'll just kind of talk you through 
what I used to experience, what I'm experiencing now, and maybe just how like weather conditions in the summer and leaves and all that kind of stuff are just kind of hindering like the actual performance of everything right now. All right, here we are with the flights. And these are going to be just short little clips just to show you what's going on. So you can kind of see where I'm taking off from. We're going that way, but I do just end up spinning around the yard here a little bit. And just burning some uh, grass clippings down there in the driveway. So figured I would just kind of zoom around a little bit. So beforehand, I could fly to this tree line and past it and still be in mode two at 500 milliwatts. Now it'll drop to mode one at 500 milliwatts, but I also know my video is getting a lot more sketchy too. So it's a very good possibility that this could be environmental. The trees, the moisture and humidity is pretty high and everything like that. If I go up to an altitude of about, say, 100, 125 feet, then I'll come back to mode two. But a dynamic power, um, I'm still actually like around 10 milliwatts, I think, out here. Maybe it'll switch to 25, and I think I did have a bump to like one watt kind of down there, uh, down low. But like I'm two thirds to the right of the screen there is where my house is. So. That was with the reverb with the Immortal T in a vertical position. And then this is with the dipole as well. And the results were pretty much the same, but I'll just let me fly out here so you can see exactly where I'm going to again. You know, maybe this will help some of you guys kind of gauge what's going on in that. It's a little over a quarter mile away. I mean, it's not like super far, that's for sure. Maybe half kilometer. It's a full kilometer from my step to the drive all the way out past, a little bit past right where the uh, building and those pine trees are right there. So, I suppose the whole conclusion that I have here so far is that I, for my environment and everything right now, I don't see any difference between either antenna or mounting them horizontally or vertically. I know if you do mount horizontally, you have a greater risk of running into a null, but it's never happened to me. I am a little bit more conscious of it right now though, just because I'm still trying to figure out if this is environmental or firmware, firmware related. And if it is firmware related, then trying to find out what version maybe to try. I hate to like flash them all back and take a chance of bricking one of them. That would really stink. This is going the opposite direction. And I, ne I always have a better video over here. Not so much right here where I'm flying straight ahead. But if I continue back into the left back there, it definitely gets a lot clearer. And I'll actually switch back into mode two if I went, if I can put one straight right here. Um, so maybe it is the leaves on the trees and everything else, but I just got this Dano and just put it on and it's not like these leaves just came up overnight. They've all been here. The only thing that's really changed is the humidity and everything like that. So I'll keep on doing some more testing, but I just wanted to throw this out there for anybody if you were kind of thinking about making some mods and trying to get your antennas vertical and everything. If you're having huge problems, I guess you want to do that, but if you're not really having a problem, then just don't go looking for it. Just go ahead and put them out on the arms. I think that that works just as good, so I'm not going to change any more of them. I'm not going to change this one back, these back, because they're already done and they're not bothering you. So that's really all I got for this, guys. I hope it helps you out a little bit and see what's going on. And we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for stopping by.